exactly a new idea called human rights is called uh, yes. um but maybe my last question to Zap why is Zap in a field down at that prestige and a candidate? You know? Because we're hoping that another a, a, a alternative is being actually created a, in, in our region. Because there's nothing, there's no political political parties in our region. We thought this up has come, has arrived, but there was nothing. And, and there was no proper explanation. You know, why was it not why didn't it actually feel the presidential candidate? If it happens today that there's going to be a national dialogue, who's going to represent it? Because they will say only those that uh, uh, participated in the presidential election will be the principals. The rest will be nothing. <coughs> so, so I think that's something that maybe that should have maybe thought about to say, shouldn't we, we feel yes, money issue, yes, it was a problem, but I think this time is up for standing a better chance to have a lot of comrades funding and so on and so forth. Okay. So we are those who have few questions. Thank you, comrade, for eating Alan a question. Leo, uh, 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 president, is up not filled in the president. <coughs> to be honest with you, um, a statement was uh, issued uh, to that effect. Uh, to cut short it um, more around the, the resources. Or let me, pu let me put it this way. It might sound uh, somehow, but this is the truth. Um, during tw between 2009 <coughs> and uh, 2012, there was a serious uh, a, a debate in the parliament in yes, uh, uh, England about what is up who has uh, been saved. Uh, so the woman who said that, uh, or who brought that motion, was uh, talking about that Izapu uh, must be taken to task. Nama human rights abuse, as they called it, especially focusing on the two planes that were brought by, down by the zebra. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're quite aware of them. So, so at the end of the day, we are very clear that there was again a campaign to many organizations not to fund ZAPO. And that one's, it is there, it is known by the very same people in UK. So the reason why we did not, it was because that's why I mentioned when I was presenting that uh, the cost of participation was definitely meant to cut us off because somebody knew that uh, as far as resources are concerned, we did not have any resources. And uh, you mentioned that there could have been comrades or uh, uh, our people who were prepared to fund uh, uh, Zabu. Believe of me, as people who, of which I'm part, we have been involved in uh, sourcing out resources, we never came across such. It was different from what we received from 2008 up until 2013 elections. There, there were many people came forward uh, who, with resources. But currently, the reason why we did not, it was because of, uh, 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 of resources. Uh, 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 that was the only uh, 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 reason I, I can mention. Although, our statement to that effect is elaborated by the spokesman of Zapu about why, besides resources, what other issues that might have contributed to that. And then the next one is that um, uh, the issue of sanctions. The reason why I mentioned sanctions as not being there is that the current regime is using sanctions in order to oppress us, in order not to develop the country, in order to loot. So they make us focus on the sanctions. Whereas, Bona, in, within the midst of those sanctions, they are benefiting a lot. They are rich. They are having everything, including someone mentioned the, the gold mafia, which we know has been happening. So they, to us citizens, they are using sanctions. So we must have this perception that the reason why we are suffering, we are like this, the reason why they cannot develop, the reason why I don't have 
or rather Matebeland or rather the, the Zambezi water project cannot be finished is because of sanctions. I, I, I was trying to get to make us understand the, 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 the issue of the sanctions is being used by people who seem to be progressing within those sanctions. And then the other thing was that uh, unfortunately the person who, who asked about uh, ideology human rightism has gone out so i'll guess uh, i'll have to pass that before i come to the one Not that benefit <laughs> before i came to that one uh, 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 which um, all right let me put it this way mm. the speaker here comment mapena he mentioned why we went to war that is 100 percent correct we went to war for land but beside the land being taken away from us there were also many inequalities within the 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 the, 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 the country that were created by the the the, 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 the imperialist within those part of them there were human abuse or rather eh, 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 we did not have equal rights with the whites so as such the same problem of being suppressed of being eh, 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 um, abused eh, eh, of being oppressed we still experience it now okay I see the Gugurawundi because they did whatever they did, which is written all over. People are speaking about it. Currently, as we speak, for example, if we took 2008, when it was assumed that uh, MDC had won the elections, we all know what happened <coughs> in Mashonaland where there was this pro I'll call it a program, although it was a, if it, an evil program, I'll call it, whereby people come and ask you, do you want a long sleeve or a short sleeve? Where people were cut arms or were cut whatever, whatever. That was the abuse. Cu currently, it continues in other forms. No human rights. The fact, Yoguchi, I am not benefiting in the economic structure. The fact that there's no equality socially, the fact that politically we can't express ourselves, we don't have freedom in all fronts. As a citizen, I am not free in a country where I'm supposed to be free. I cannot speak free. There's no freedom of speech at all. There is nothing. That's why at the end of the day, we are all over the world. It is because the system has designed Amas systems ends which when I look at it, I feel I am not counted. When I try to be counted, there is always victimization, which also goes with serious suffocation. So I refer to that as the abuse of power, as the abuse of Amarites Wabantu. And then the, 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 the role of ZAPU currently, what is the role of ZAPU currently? Comrades, the reason why ZAPU was uh, 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 left EU men, uh, uh, left into a court is because, as Comrade Mabena puts it, it was back, back to basics. What we began in, 1940, in 1957 had not been done. Only what we observed was a systematic erosion or corrosion of EE government, government that did not care for people, government that did not take the interest of the people for what it may be in all fronts. So as ZAPU, we felt, 
time has come for us as Zapu to stand up and they unite the Zimbabweans the same manner we united them when we began the revolution to, 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 to uh, 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 defeat the imperialists. So we, we are coming together saying Zimbabweans unite uh, 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 under Zapu so that we finish what we began in 1957 so that we can look into the interest of each and every Zimbabweans. We are calling all Zimbabweans that this is the time, the only party which has got a history. And okay, let me put it this way. You remember when we were fighting. It's not everybody who went to exile who was trained militarily. Some people were posted or were sent to various countries to be trained as teachers, to be trained as doctors, as civil servants. So because the leadership realized that we are going to take the country, what about if the very same British do what uh, the French did in the French colonies? So they had to begin to prepare the people. When we take country we must not be found wanting there must be these people who are ready to to to, to run the government hence we, it, it was sometimes called a government in exile so when those people when we got our independent believe you me the first three to four to five years the ZANPF government was able to run the country because the same people who were sent by a, a ZAPU were the ones who were running the government. But when they began to systematically remove them, then the ZANU government began to crumble because they were now putting people who were not experienced in jobs or in departments or uh, in places where it, it needed Abantu who had the knowledge so therefore this is to show that Izapu had a program so we are saying the same programs that we had during the struggle before there was a split is the same thing the same program that we had when the split was there we still have the same program we call everybody to come and say let's come and develop our country for, for example now uh, uh, many people are having land Many people have occupied farms, and someone, I think it's my pen, who has put it that you get the land but you don't have any resources to work the land. So, as Zap, we are saying it is our duty to see to it now when we come to power, there is this development, and this development must be done through a devolution of power. If I'm not mistaken, Comrade Mapena called it democratic centralism centralism but he covered uh, 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 both peasants and the workers. Uh, 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 we are saying through a devolution of power it will make us realize that here is a place like now there are diamonds in Brunabek. The people of Brunabek must be able to control those diamonds, to be involved in them, to see that those diamonds develop Brunabek. There are diamonds in Somabul. The people of the Mekins must have a say, must be involved to see to it that whatever is done with those diamonds, it makes the people to be developed. I can talk so many things about it. For example, we have got this kind of a, 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 a problem in Matebe Land, which the British tried to solve in 1921. The problem of a, 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 a water shortages, when they Eh, 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 came with the plan Yema Tebelen Zamez water project. Until now, it is still stagnant because not <coughs> because there are no funds, but somebody does not want to, to, to make that a reality because it is on a particular region. So as such, we are saying, as Apple, those are part of the things that we should do. Remember, when that project is done, when that project is complete according to the original plan, it must come until Epulukwani, which means everybody from Matebele North, Victoria Falls, until Epulukwani must benefit from this project. And within 
within the, 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 that belt. A green belt must be created where the water pipe is. A green belt must be created whereby people can do all sorts of businesses. So as ZAP, we do have a clear plan. And our plan is, it, it involves respecting our, 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 our plan it involves development through its evolutional power. Our plan it involves involving everybody coming together eh, eh, eh. i know people will say when zapu went to war they were talking about socialism eh, communism but hardly do we hear the current leadership talking about those and then somebody nearly answered it when he said when you talk of democracy you begin to understand that the democracy of my sister might be different from of Nube, might be different from of Umapena. But when it comes to socialism, we are very clear about the kind of socialism. Okay, let me put it this way. As a history or well, a former history teacher, when I look at how Karl Marx Develop the five stages of theory that is capitalism, communism, socialism, slavery, and feudalism. He is clear about how he narrates them. I like it when he says socialism is the highest stage of development, which means before you reach communism, you must reach socialism so that. When you go down to communism, you must have demonstrated as a government what this is done. This can be done. And then, that's exactly the kind of system that we want, whereby the government takes control. The government takes control of all means of production and they give people the power and they demonstrate to the people how these things are done. Our problem is that once you mention socialism and communism, Stalinism comes to mind. I called Stalinism because what Stalin did was definitely, according to me, was not Marxism, was not Leninism. It was his own, according to me, it was all his own policies. Because the way he did it, it was very delicate. So, 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 as Zapu, we have got this big project, and we believe would, if everybody comes, we become united, we push this agenda, we are going to win in Zimbabwe. And we are going to see the lives of people being improved. And we are going to see it difference which between 1980 until now there has been a big vacuum if it was up this vacuum could not have existed and then the last one um comrade um oh you said you're not called comrade pen. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yes, Baba. Uh, thanks for the correction of uh, PF, PF, uh, PF. I will just go and verify, but thanks very much for raising that one. And then again, yeah, I also want to uh, talk about the issue of uh, where, the, the, the Lancaster House. Um, um, Mamelisa, Mamelisa, says the problem why there was Lancaster they realized it immediately when Margaret Thatcher landed in Zambia and they were seen dancing with Kaunda and they knew Gutini the revolution something's happening I, I am not of the notion that Zanda and Zipra were costly or rather Zap and Zan were costly into negotiations because uh, it, it, it wasn't that there was a win when Zipra announced the zero hour that's when the British realized the Uguti is zero hour meant capture and hold which means every if we kept her if we kept her uh, uh, um, 
Cholocho. Let's take it and begin administrating and begin working. It's now ours. If we capture Lubani, let's begin to work. So that was the zero hour. Capture and hold. The British realized what if is the, the the power with the power that he had, if it continues or is allowed to, to practice he capture and hold, it was going to mean an outright win of this black majority. There was not going to be any negotiations for the white according to the to, to, to the British. So therefore, what they did, they had to go to Kaunda and say, No, time has come for negotiations for us to stop. This system of is zero hour, you capture and, uh, and hold. Let's open our negotiations. That's how they know it opened. The Bengwa seals it when he says on his way to Lancaster House, he fired a Moscow. The Russians told him exactly what uh, if you agree. You must know that you have sold the revolution. And uh, Tabengwa says, I arrived in Lancaster. I called Umdala, who seemed unwilling. This is the idea of the British. Then he says, um, that, I know that. You mean I Ukaunda has just told me Uchi, if we don't go with these negotiations we might find ourselves seeing a senandao operation because he now wants to remain with the ANC then Uchi, I knew Uchi, we had no choice but to continue in the Lancaster House Agreement it wasn't as Ikotesa it was something very different because we were in a state whereby in Mozambique, in Zambia, we're actually going to cut our operations if we had refused the Lancaster House negotiations. Thank you very much.